Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a warm welcome once again on SRTV Lab. My name is Mr. Shadra Kabumbi. Today, I would like us to see just a video about breeding time. You are going to see how long does it take for a normal person to breed. If it is longer, you are going to find out what might be the cause. What if it is long, what might be the cause. And please, if you have not yet subscribed, please press the subscribe button and share the video to your colleagues. Thank you. Today we are going to see how to perform the breeding test. Here are materials required. Ghost pad, alcohol aim pad, needle, gloves, filter papers, bottom, stopwatch. And here also are a container for sharp materials. Let's start with the breeding time test. First of all, we have to make our patients feel comfortable. This is not harmful, it's not bad. Then we clean our patient's earlobe. That is where we are going to prick and see how long it's going to take for him to stop breathing. Good. After cleaning, we are taking a needle and then click. Good. And do you wonder why do we do this test? Actually, breathing time test is done to see if the platelets are working together to form clots. If not, a person can breed up to death. Do you know if the person doesn't stop breathing, that is what we call hemophilia. Do you get me? Or what if the person doesn't breed or immediately his blood or her blood clots immediately? That is what we call thrombophilia. It is the opposite of hemophilia. Good. Now let us take this filter to capture the blood droplets. Good. We are taking the filter. Good. So the normal range for breathing time is between 2 to 7 minutes. But there are some journals that says it might be between 1 to 8 minutes. So we are going to assess it on these patients. Good. But I could, as you can see clearly, there is blood. That's okay. Good. But we are going to see the first drop, the second or the third. Good. If it takes longer than 80 minutes, that means this person might have hemophilia. But you don't conclude it at once. You have to do at least three tests not one test to conclude. Good. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. We are still waiting for the first blood drop. Good. But that's okay, we can keep wait. Key. Good. You can see there is little blood Mm -hmm. Even though it's not falling, but that's okay. It might fall, and then we see other droplets. And we see how long it's going to take. Still waiting for the first blood drop. Now it has come. One, two, three. If it stops breathing, good, you take a cotton, then ask your patients to hold and press the area where you have pricked. Then check the time it has taken to stop breathing. 
Here it is. Three minutes for the four second and something. Good. It is in a normal range. You remember the normal range? It's between one to eight minutes. But there are some journals that says between two to seven minutes. But this is normal. And then you put the waste into the dustbin. Good. Then you thank your patients and tell the patients the result. This is how it is done. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope it's very helpful. So please, don't keep this information just with yourself. Share this information to your colleagues. And see you in another video next time. May God bless you abundantly.